I'm Sean Holmes and I'm the Artistic Director here at The Lyric. I was lucky when I was at school, we had a really great drama teacher, Mr Franz Koviak, and he was uh, encouraged us to get our parents to write in to do uh, Theatre Studies A-Level, which the school hadn't done before, and they actually agreed to do. Um, and I think looking back on it now, in a way you don't quite, you don't necessarily know why you want to do something, you just know you do, but looking back on it now, I think it was probably something to do with the Partly it's sitting in the imagination of a writer. Yeah, I think it's then the, uh, the solving of the problems and puzzles and opportunities and what they actually after. That there's something about that in your brain that is a really good way to spend your time, most of the time. And also I think theatre, you know, it's sort of, uh, lots of people say it, but I think I, it's collaborative. It's a way to make art and be an artist whilst sort of relying on everybody else. And I think I'll enjoy the kind of team mentality of, of, of making theatre is something that obviously I took a lot from, I think, still do. Obviously there's different types of artistic director and I suppose I'm one who partly leads through directing. So um, I would direct two, maybe three shows a year. I mean obviously one of the things I'm primarily responsible for is the programming, so deciding which place to do, uh, which teams will do them, who might be in it. Uh, it's obviously about relationships with other artists and companies and theatres because increasingly we're all of us reliant on co-production. As well as that, you're obviously responsible for the staff and making sure that the building is as positive and happy as it can be. I think the thing is what people expect from us is we have quite a broad programme of work, you know, broader than most theatres, you know, from pantomime to shopping and fucking literally one following the other. Uh, but, but there's something about that that both of those feel very lyric. And I think the thing with Seagull is Simon Stevens, who's an associate here, has written a really brilliant, really, I don't like to be nice about him, but it's a really brilliant version, um, which feels to me it does two things. It's completely modern and sayable and fresh and alive. And at the same time, it also feels that it retains a sort of truth and classicism that if, there, if that's the right word, that links you directly back to Chekhov. When I got this job, Nick Heitner sent me a card and I, I'd worked for him, but I didn't know him very well, but he sent me a card and it, I think it said, there is nothing underlined bad about running your own theatre. And I kind of know what he means. Of course, from day to day, there's all sorts of disasters and, and crises and triumphs and all of those things. But there is, it is a really, um, exciting job because it allows you to work collaboratively in the way I said. There's nothing more exciting than the play you've commissioned arriving on your desk or giving a director a job or an actor a job or a writer a job. And also having a theatre that's really important to its location, um, to its audience. When those moments all come together it's a really uh, exciting job. Uh, I mean also you know you work really long hours and it's you know drives you mad but, um, but I think I didn't think it was a job I wanted to do and then ever since I've done it I've been really glad that I made that decision. Mm -hmm.